Hello and welcome to Weekton. In this video, we will cover a general walkthrough and how Weekton supports the OCARE best practices and helps you to succeed with the OCARE methodology. If you haven't watched the videos in this series about the best practice workflows related to OKRs and how to write good objectives and key results, I do encourage you to start with those two videos before watching this walkthrough. So in week 10, you have all of the features that you need to be successful in your goal setting process. You have the block for the KPIs where you can track or monitor or communicate the most important targets in your company. You have the block for the OKRs and you have the block for weekly executional items and what exactly you're going to be doing to impact your OKRs, right? So right now we are in the overview, which is where you will do, be doing most of the interactions in your account, where you will be adding and updating your OKRs, adding and updating your weekly priorities. And we're also right now at the company level in this account. If you see here, we have two company level objectives, revisit and revamp value proposition to bring in more new clients and improve our internal processes to prepare for scale. If we open up this objective, we will see that we have team OKRs driving the progress of this company level objective. If we go to the tree view, you will see the color-coded version of how everything is working together and what kind of key results are off track, on track, and what kind of teams might need help or might need to rethink how they define their OKRs or to rethink what kind of initiatives they are prioritizing. In the hierarchy view, you may also see how everything is flowing together. For example, if we say we want to revisit and revamp value proposition as a company objective, we click here, and we see that we have three teams contributing to this objective. If we click on a different objective, we'll see that we only have one team that is aligned to this company level focus. So whenever we have several teams driving the progress of a company level objective, we are linking those team OKRs to the company level objective so that they literally mathematically drive the progress of this company level focus. Now let's go to the overview and to the marketing team level to see how their OKR is structured and added. Here at the marketing level, here at the marketing team level, you will have the line that says add a quarterly objective. You can add it if you just click on this line and you can do, you can input text. Since we already have the pre-existing example here, you see that the marketing example is to leverage out our long-term relationships to increase our credibility and stand out from competition. If we open it up, we will see that the progress of this objective is driven by the key results. So when you update your key results, you're driving the progress of the objective. Be clear and be very, very sure that after you added your KRs, you also updated the target values of the KR. So what exactly are you measuring? If you're adding a key result, by default, week 10 will be measuring progress from zero to 100%. And in most cases, this is not what you're measuring. In this case, increase the number of referrals from two to 15. So your start value is two, your target value is 15. So if you click here on this percentage icon or you go to three dots and select change type and values, you can change the result type from percent to anything else. But in this case, we just need the percentages indicate the start value and the target value and choose the decimal points. Now, if you are not measuring percentages, maybe you're measuring 500 new deals coming from social proof efforts. You once again can go in the menu to change the key result parameters. And instead of percentages, you can just delete everything that is here and write down what exactly you're measuring. What are we measuring? New deals. So that's what we're gonna write here. If we didn't have it here, new deals. And then we save, we indicate the target value, and there you go. So we are very, very specific on the topic, what exactly we are measuring in our key results. Once you are clear on the OKR, you can define the initiatives that are going to be driving the progress of your OKR in general. You can add initiatives 
under a specific KR to indicate this is what we're doing towards this KR, or you can add initiatives under the objective to indicate that this is something that your team is working on in regards to the entire OKR. Let's go and check another example from the sales team. So we have here the objective to improve our early stage communication process to boost engagement with new clients. And the first KR is increase the number of views and to achieve 3000 views on the how-to tutorial video. Here we want to reduce the ratio from 60 to 20%. So our start value is 60, our target value is 20. We can also choose the decimal points here and increase the percent of email responses from 12 to 25. Okay, so we're clear on what we're measuring. Now, what about initiatives? What are we gonna do, for example, to reach 3000 videos? If we open it up, we can see that we have already some initiatives and some of them already completed. Agree on the general script and the audience goals for the videos. Talk to our clients and get feedback on how they feel about the videos. You can also customize how you're tracking the initiative's progress. So you may also measure something like steps or track the steps. Maybe you have 10 steps in making it happen. And then you can be very specific about which step you're currently at. You can also rearrange your initiatives whenever some of them become more uh, relevant to what you're working on right now. So feel free to experiment with this feature here and let us know what kind of feedback you have about uh, initiatives in general. Now, we have key results, which are the outcomes for the quarter. We have initiatives that are things that we do to achieve our key results, to have an impact on them. What are the weekly items? Weekly items are those weekly planning items that you will be considering based on individual accountability. So who does what by when? Here we see that this week or in the last two weeks, as you can see that there is the calendar switch. In the last two weeks, John has completed setting up a dashboard on the types of incoming questions for easy access to measure the KR. And there are some plans for this week from Anna and John, and there are no problems reported. To make sure if you're maybe, if you're in a meeting and discussing how to work with this OKR, what you can do, you can open up the single objective page. If you click on this icon here, it looks like an arrow going out of a square. So if you click here, it will bring you to the individual objective page. Once again, if you're in a meeting, what you can also do is consider presenting at a meeting. As you can see, there is a button to present at a meeting at the top right corner, and it just removes all of the unnecessary elements that you uh, might not need if you are in a Zoom meeting and presenting your progress. Here you'll see key results, can open it up and see initiatives under KRs. You see initiatives related to the entire OKR and what is going on on the individual level. So who is doing what to drive the initiatives forward, to impact the key results, to achieve the objective. On this timeline, you will also see how your key results progress has been progressing. Now let's go to the personal planning form because this is the team OKR, but how do I relate to the OKR? How am I going to contribute my progress, my effort to achieve this OKR? So let's click on my name here at the top of the sidebar. There you go. And we go directly to my individual personal planning form. This form can be customized by admin users, but by default, you will have three categories in here, three planning categories, plans, progress and problems. However, most admins really like to add two other categories, which are future plans and lessons learned. So this is something, some interesting facts, maybe something that you learned about competition or learned from your customers that you would like to share cross-functionally. And future plans uh, is the category so that you really focus this category on things that need to happen this week so that it's easier for you to prioritize. You can choose and rename categories in the company settings. Please visit the how to use weekend section in our learning center to learn how to customize the settings in the weekly template. So now 
whenever you are planning for the week, make sure that you're writing your plans as full sentences. Don't write things like send an email or create a script. Be very, very specific as to what exactly you're trying to accomplish. So in this case, create a script for the tutorial video, right? Which tutorial video? The one that is defined in our OKR. So this plan is related to our OKR, which is indicated by this linking icon here. So if I hover, it says that our weekly item is linked to an objective, improve early stage communication process to boost engagement with the new clients. Now, if it's not related, I don't have to link it. Sometimes you will have plans that are linked to OKRs. Sometimes you will have plans that are not linked. Whenever you are working on a plan, if by the end of the week, by Friday, say 5 p.m., you haven't finished working on it, you can leave a comment that um, maybe you need to notify someone that some part of it is done or you just need to record that some part of it has been completed, kind of like first draft ready for your review, John, and then John can take it over and put it in his plans and uh, do the review. Once you have completed the plan, you move it, you click on the this little once again, this little uh, checkbox and it moves directly to the progress section. On Friday at 5 p.m. by default, the done section will be cleared for the accomplishments of the new week. So if you are not updating week 10 or your priorities on an ongoing basis for some reason, at least make sure you've done it before 5, 5 p.m. on Friday because after 5 p.m. on Friday, week 10 will compile a report to send it out to everyone in the organization or everyone in your team, depending on how you have your notifications set up to notify what has been accomplished, right? So this tool is very much about communication as well as it is about planning, right? So let's view another person's weekly planning form. Let's go to John's planning form. So as you can see, he has one plan that is related to an OPR, which is to review the tutorial video script when ready. So uh, Anna has completed the first draft. Now he needs to review it. When it's done, he moves it to the progress section. He also can directly update the key result if that produced any sort of impact on it. What we can do also here, we can, from the three dot menu, we can select the due date for our plan. Let's say it's due in three weeks. We can leave comments and we can specify what exactly has been achieved towards this plan. Make sure that this plan, uh, this planning section is something valuable that you're communicating to your team so that you also can use it to prepare for your weekly OKR check-in. So you look over what the whole team has been accomplishing. So you go to the team level, you scroll down and you see, okay, so this is what our team has been working on. These are the plans. These are the future plans. These are the progress items, right? So now when we have an OKR check-in as a team, we don't need to discuss who did what. We can really focus on what we're doing next or what we learned and how can we benefit from that knowledge. Now, you also have a dedicated view for your team initiative. So if you, if you are on the sales team level right now, if we go to the initiatives on this tab over here, you will see all of the initiatives that you've added under your OKR, either um, under the objective or under specific KRs. You can also update them here. This is just a general view for you to have sort of um, a roadmap or just a list of activities in general that your team is responsible for. This same view exists for every team in the organization. And last but not least, in the newsfeed section, you can interact with your colleagues and really give them feedback about things that they have been accomplishing during the week. So uh, here you can literally say great teamwork and say, thank you for helping me with onboarding materials. You can also scroll down and see what has been going on in your company, leave reactions, tag people who need to see certain things, maybe add some useful links that you want people to check out. When you add a link, it will transform it into a hyperlink that people can just click on. And this feature is behaving as any social media timeline that you're probably used to. So 
Make sure that you are visiting the newsfeed feature often so that you know what is going on in your company. This is a general overview of what you can do in week 10. We have more information in our learning center in the dedicated section, how to use week 10. You're welcome to use it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via hello at weekend.com. I hope you enjoyed these workshops and I hope that now you know what your next steps in the OKR rollout should be. Thank you very much.